we got to go with the kickboxing tournament. What a tournament featuring the likes of Semi Schilt, Sergei Haritanov, Gokan Saki, Remy Bonyaski, Errol Zimmerman, Peter Ertz, Murad Buzidi, Daniel Gita. An absolute sick kickboxing tournament. But before we get to the tournament, let's get to the two kickboxing uh, special bouts. I mean, they're not exhibitions. They're real contests, but they're kind of separate from the kickboxing. Let's start with Jerome LeBanner. I'm actually disappointed that Jerome LeBanner isn't in this tournament. Maybe he didn't want to take part in the whole big thing. Or maybe this bout could be used as a reserve bout for the tournament. I have a feeling that that's exactly... These are kind of... Two bouts taking place in this kickboxing tournament, or uh, a side of the kickboxing tournament, right. in order if someone is injured and unable to continue. Well, yeah, this it unless may, someone it may gets be a so, bye, but it may be so with the LeBanner and uh, Pettis fight that we're about to talk about. But the other kickboxing bout is uh, between two lightweights that I don't think will enter the tournament as reservists. It is Japan, so perhaps. yeah, it's not going to happen. Uh, Jerome LeBanner, though, seventy-two wins. 21 losses, two draws, and one no contest. What a career this man has had. He made his professional kickboxing debut way back in 1992. He's 39 years old, from France, a black belt in Kyokushin Karate, with wins over Ernesto Hoos, Peter Ertz, Mark Hunt, and Remy Bonyaski, just to name a few. 58 of 72 wins via knockout, with 14 decision victories. LeBanner, though, has lost 21 times, 13 via knockout, and 8 decisions. Koichi Petas, the Japanese fighter, 32 years old, 7 years, the junior of LeBanner, 26 victories, 7 losses, and 1 draw. He's coming off a second-round knockout win over a 14-8 and eight fighter named Mark Miller. That was on October the 6th in Belgium. Petas has 15 of his 26 wins via knockout. With 11 decisions, he's lost 7 times, 4 via decision, 3 via knockouts. He's been fighting as a pro since 2005. LeBanner versus Koichi Petas. Uh, You gotta go with the Frenchman. You gotta go with Big Jerome. Definitely, I like Jerome LeBanner in this. Has the experience. Coming off a draw, not as impressive as coming off a knockout, but he's got that experience factor, and I like him to pick up the W and I don't know. I don't know if I'll predict via knockout, but I'm still going to say that LeBanner takes it. I think LeBanner will take it via decision. Either way, we both like Jerome LeBanner to win. The next bout is a lightweight kickboxing contest. Robin Van Rusmalen, 37 wins, 14 losses, and three draws. Three draws taken on Yuichiro Nagashima, 17 wins, five losses. Van Rusmalen is coming off a loss to 74-1, and one of the best in the world, Giorgio Petrosian, on November 3rd in Rome, Italy, while Nagashima also coming off a loss via decision to Henry Van Opstel on October the 28th of this year in Tokyo. Van Roosmalen, 23 years old, from the Netherlands, representing Team Golden Glory. Nagashima, a 28-year-old from Japan, with a black belt in Kempo Karate. Nagashima, 12 of his 17 wins via knockout. With three decisions. Nagashima has lost five times in his career. Four via knockout. One via decision. While Van Roosmalen has lost 14 times in his career. 13 via decision. And just once via knockout. Van Roosmalen likes to win via decision as well. 25 of 37 via decision. With 12 knockout victories. Van Roosmalen has been fighting since 2004. While Nagashima has been fighting as a pro kickboxer since 2007 but competed in mixed martial arts before that and picked up a 3-2 and two record in pro MMA from 2005 to 2006. Nagashima versus Van Roosmalen. Uh, I'm going to go with the local boy, the Japanese fighter Nagashima, to pick up the victory. Now, this one is kind of a tough call because you know I don't really know that much about either fighter. Uh, both guys have 12 knockout victories, which is very impressive. And it also makes me think that Roos Malin is kind of a grinder that with 25 decision victories that he likes to go the distance. Um, I say Roos Malin is going to win. I think we're going to differ on this one. All right. That's quite all right. Shall we get into the tournament? 
Let's do it. I mean, I'm excited about this tournament. One of the most exciting things going on all weekend in combat sports. And this is on a weekend where we have some amazing uh, mixed martial arts contests, both in the UFC and in Dream. This tournament definitely very exciting. A K1 kickboxing rules 16-man one-night heavyweight tournament. Let's go with the number one seed, Semi Schilt. 39 wins, 6 losses, and 1 draw. Taking on the Frenchman, Bryce Guidon. 28 wins, 7 losses. Schilt is the number one seed in the tournament. Guidon, the underdog, unseeded. Guidon actually plus 400 the dog. Semi Schilt minus 600 the favorite. Schilt coming off a third round TKO victory over the very tough Errol Zimmerman. Zimmerman also in this tournament, one of the top seeds. That was on May the 26th in Sweden. Schilt has 18 of his 39 wins via knockout with 21 decisions. He has lost six times in his career. Four of those are via decision. Three of his four decision losses are to Peter Ertz. I mean, that's pretty crazy. Ertz has beat him three times, and Ertz is also in this tournament. Semi Schilt has been knocked out twice in his career, most recently in 2009, to Badr Hari. Semi Schilt does have wins over Peter Ertz. Glabe Feitosa, Remy Bonyaski, Mark Hunt, Jerome LeBanner, Bader Harry, and actually Bryce Guidon. As a matter of fact, Guidon's last fight was in Russia on March the 23rd of this year, and Schilt beat him via unanimous decision. So Guidon coming off the loss to Schilt, now in his very next fight, has the opportunity to beat him on uh, Monday morning in Japan in this tournament. Guidon has 15 of his 28 wins via decision with 13 knockouts. He has lost seven times in his career, four via knockout, three via decision, with wins over Murad Buzidi, Philip Verlinden, and Rico Verhoeven. All three of those men I just mentioned are also in this tournament. So Guidon has beat some guys that are competing in this 16-man 16 16 competition. Guidon is 27 years old from France, has been fighting since 2004. Semi Schilt. 12 years older, 39 years old from Rotterdam, Netherlands, has been fighting as a kickboxer since 2002, but actually fought professionally as a mixed martial artist before that, fighting from 1996 to 2008. Semi Schilt picked up a record of 26 and 14 in MMA. Schilt on a two fight win streak, representing Team Golden Glory. He was the K1 World Grand Prix heavyweight champion in 2005. 2006, 2007, and 2008. Whew. Pretty impressive stuff from Semi Schilt. I am picking the heavy favorite, Semi <laughs> Schilt, the number one seed, to move on and uh, beat Bryce Guidon. Uh, I think he could knock him out, but Guidon has a very good chin. I don't think Guidon gets knocked out in the first round of this tournament, but I think he loses via decision. And I'm going to go with Semi Schilt to move on into the quarterfinals of this tournament with a first-round victory over Bryce Guidon. I'm not going to go that far and say first round. Oh, sorry, no, no. sorry, sorry. Okay. First yes, round yes, yes, of yes, the, the tournament. tournament. Okay, I don't okay, think okay. he's going to beat it. I think it's actually going to go to a decision. Uh, three three-minute rounds uh, are these fights scheduled for. Uh, but I believe he'll go to a decision but will win and advance into the second round of the tournament. He'll go into the quarterfinals of this 16-man one-night Grand Prix. I, I can't disagree. I think Semi Schilt is an amazing kickboxer. Just looking at the stats, winning four years in a row the K1 World Grand Prix, and on a two-fight win streak, he's got a win over Guidon. It's obvious to me that Semi Schilt is going to win this fight, and to an extent is the odds-on favorite to win this entire tournament. Well, he is the number one seed, right? Yeah. So, obviously... The people that made up the seedings for this tournament believe that Semi Schilt will win this tournament. But, you know, I believe he'll have a very tough test in his next bout as 